Hello, this video is about how to install a minimum Ubuntu LXDE desktop into an Ubuntu server and then install Windows RDP Remote Desktop Protocol Server into Ubuntu 12.04 server. Finally, we'll connect to the Ubuntu server with a Windows machine. The outcome for this video would be to change VirtualBox settings you don't have to use VirtualBox in order to take advantage of this video, but if you have your Ubuntu server on VirtualBox, this shows how to do it. One, I'll set the VirtualBox settings to point the guest to an empty CD DVD drive. This is for easy install of the virtual guest. And two, would change the network setting to bridged. Also prepare the Ubuntu 12.04 server, update and upgrade. Now for Ubuntu servers in VirtualBox, install DKMS Dynamic Kernel module support. If your virtual server is not inside VirtualBox, you shouldn't install it. Then use TaskCell to install a Minman Lubuntu desktop. Now again, for VirtualBox users, install VirtualBox Guest Editions. The last thing we'll install is XRDP and write.x session file to enable Microsoft Windows Remote Desktop connection from Windows 7. Not shown are the connection from Windows 8.1 and XP. And I also tried Windows Vista connection, but it did not have a good screen. Now, in the interest of honesty, I will say that when I made the connections, about one out of two connections seemed to fail, and I had to go try again, which that's the way it may go when you try to use Microsoft Windows Remote Desktop Protocol with Ubuntu. And finally, I, would, I installed a Firefox web browser from a remote desktop connection just to verify that hey, you've got all permissions and you can do whatever you want inside the Lubuntu machine. Requirements An Ubuntu server with administrative privileges. I'd recommend using Ubuntu 12.04. An internet connection, local area network, that's a LAN where all the uh, computers have the first three numbers are all the same. They can find each other. Now Windows 7 is using this demo. I also worked with Windows 8 or XP but I didn't show that. An optional virtual box is shown but not required. Additional info here, some sites I used. And a disclaimer, while I've researched this material, I can't fully verify that it will work with all combinations of hardware and software out there. So this is just basically a disclaimer. Now on to the video. If you're running your Ubuntu server in VirtualBox, we we'll have to change some settings here. If you're not using VirtualBox, uh, just ignore this part. It'll be very quick here. One thing on system, if you want to change your base memory, go ahead and change your base memory. Storage, because I'm going to be installing VirtualBox guest editions, I want to have this host drive empty. That's basically host drive E. Make sure it's host drive E and it's just empty. Click OK. And because I'm installing XRDP to allow you to connect to this server using Microsoft Windows from a Windows 7 PC. I need to change the network settings from attached to NAT to attached to bridged adapter. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and start your uh, Ubuntu server. Here's the Ubuntu server. Let's log in. You can see that it needs some updating. So in order to do that, sudo apt get update and you can do this on three separate lines. I prefer to do it on one line. apt get dash y upgrade and if you're running inside VirtualBox it helps to install DKMS. If you're not running inside VirtualBox you can ignore this apt get dash y install DKMS. Make sure everything's spelled right, otherwise you're going to have to come back and do it parts of it again. Hit enter, password, and then come back in about 10 or 15, well actually about 5 or 6 minutes. Okay, it's taken about uh, 2 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is key in sudo task cell and I'm going to pick the package to install. So you'll see this is a basic Ubuntu server with OpenSSH installed. Those are the only two things on here. 
And there's all kinds of uh, task cell packages you can install. Right here is Ubuntu LXD desktop, but I want to do a minimum desktop. Whoops, I must have passed it by. Talking too much. Lubuntu, minimal installation, spacebar, makes the selection. Hit enter for OK. And now this is going to take about 10 or 15 minutes. Come back when this is installed. OK, this install has taken about uh, seven, seven and a half minutes. What I'm going to do is do a sudo reboot. I always like to reboot rather than start X start when I'm dealing with new graphics installations. So I'll do a sudo reboot and we'll come back to install uh, VirtualBox guest editions. Okay, here I have the Lubuntu desktop. In this section, I'm going to install VirtualBox guest editions. You can skip this section if you're not using an Ubuntu server in VirtualBox. Log in. Take a second here for the, the first start for this to come up. Once it's up, go up here to Devices, install guest edition CD image. It says Open in File Manager. I'm going to click OK. We're going to take this program right here and run it. Go to Tools, Open Current Folder in Terminal, do an LS and see that everything's there, and then you just basically sudo the box. And I'm going to type it out. I, I know how to use the star key, but for somebody that's not that familiar with Linux, this helps. Makes a little more sense for them. Make sure I got everything typed in. Oh. My fault. My bad. Anytime you're typing inside a, uh, you're already in a folder, use a dot slash. So now it'll run. I'll come back when it's uh, installed. This uh, building the VirtualBox guest editions current modules takes a little time sometimes. A minute or two. Okay, VirtualBox guest editions installed, so we're going to have to do another sudo reboot. Okay, here's the uh, Ubuntu server with the uh, Lubuntu desktop installed, the minimal Lubuntu desktop installed. So let's log in and VirtualBox Guest Editions. Now we'll take a look at it here and we'll see that there's a Unicode X term and the X term. One thing I'm going to add here is I'm going to go to the uh, X terminal. I'm going to add the LX terminal just because you can do a little more with the font sizes and things like that and dash y install LX, LX terminal once that's installed I'm just going to exit this and I'm going to go back down here it's an accessories go to LX terminal a little bit bigger screen there it might be a little bit easier to see and was a sudo apt get dash y install let me put a space there on that dash y here that's just so you don't have to say yes xrdp i'd added an extra letter there oh came in after that should take it need to take a typing class okay that should get me there okay now it's started one thing I'm gonna to have to do is write something to the or create a dot X session file and write this in to it L LX session slash s Ubuntu dash e capital LXDE in quotation marks one forward arrow because I'm going to write to it. If you want to uh, append something in a file, you would use two forward arrows. And I'm my home directory. Make sure everything's spelled correctly. 
Otherwise, it's not going to work. And if you want to check yourself, you can go. And right now, I am in my home directory, so I can open up my text editor. In this case, I'm using the Vim text editor, which comes with Ubuntu server and dot x session. So I'm going to open that up. And right there is what I've written into that file. I'm just going to hit colon and then quit. I'm going to just stop this video right here and pull up a Windows machine so that you can watch both machines uh, right next to each other. Okay, here I have uh, two virtual machines running side by side. On the left is Windows 7, 32-bit. That's with the penguins. On the right is my Ubuntu server with the LXDE minimum desktop. In the fairness of all honesty, the first two times I tried to connect didn't work. I don't know why. I checked everything and everything seemed okay. Third time I tried to connect, it worked. So hopefully this will work fine. In order to connect, I need to find out the uh, IP address of the Ubuntu server. And in this case, it's 192.168.1.17. And then I go to Remote Desktop connection here. Put in 192.168.1.17. Connect. Click Yes. Put in the username of the server and the password of the server. Click OK. This is problem connecting. Let me make sure I'm typing everything in. Maybe I'm going a little too fast with the uh, Click OK. Maybe I was going a little too fast with the password there. Let me go and install Firefox here. Go to Accessories, LX Terminal. Now, unlike Windows, when you RDP to a Windows machine, you RDP to a uh, Linux machine, the user stays on. When you RDP, remote desktop protocol to a Windows machine, the user gets kicked off. So what I'm going to do here is sudo apt get install Firefox. The Firefox browser on the Windows server. I'm sorry. I'm going to install the Firefox browser on the Ubuntu server with the I'm going to install Firefox on the Ubuntu server with the Ubuntu minimum desktop. Once it's installed, I'm going to log out of the remote desktop here and then go back to the uh, Ubuntu server and see if Firefox will run. So now it's installed. Exit my terminal. Go here, log out and then log out. So now the remote desktop connection is closed. What I'm going to do here is actually shut this Windows 7 machine down. Then I'm going to go over to the uh, Ubuntu server. Now you can see I have Internet Firefox web browser. There you go. And that's how to install a Lubuntu minimum desktop into Ubuntu 12.04 server and then install XRDP, a remote desktop protocol server, and then remote into the Ubuntu server from a Windows 7 computer. Thank you.